in our previous video we have learnt how to get parameter value from route in some situations we have to pass the data in the url in the form of query string in this video we will learn how to pass the data in the query string and how to get its value in the component file here we are using the same application that we have created in this video series this application is running on the browser here click the login in the url i want to pass some data in the form of query string to pass the data in query string we have to use question mark after the question mark we have to write the name of the query name equal sample if you want to pass one more date query string uh, you have to use amberson then you have to provide the second key and value let's say email test email and then press enter this will work fine because query string is optional if you are passing the data by using query string then how to get its value in component file let's see how we can do that go to vs code editor here we will use auth module file let's open this uh, login component in this component we have to use activated route by using dependency injection we can use activated route in this constructor uh, let's use access modifier private then you can give any meaningful name here then provide activated route now in the ng on init method this dot route dot now instead of params we have to use query params then subscribe in the subscribe method uh, we can query param equal to curly braces here let's print the value by using console dot log here let's pass the query param and save the changes go back to the browser see here uh, in the console window we are having both the values sample and sorry name and email values let's pass one more data in the url let's say user well the new user then press enter see here we are having all the values here okay if you want to assign these values in local variables you can create the variables here in login component let's create a public name type string and then assign null value save the changes as let's use this name here this dot name equal to query param then square bracket single quote then use this name here now let's display this uh, name value in html template let's open this login component dot html file using p tag here display the name value using interpolation and save the changes go back to the browser see here uh, we have the name value here okay let's update this name value in the url let's say one two three then press enter we have the updated value here like this we have to create two more uh, variables in login component here let's create public email string so copy this third is user now we have to display email and we are also email user now display these values in html template
replace this name with email and this will be user save the changes go back to the browser see here uh, we have name email and uh, user values here okay now we can use the same concept uh, to get the query parameters value at any place in this application now in login component let's copy this uh, code from here and now we will use a uh, public module in book details uh, component we are passing id and author id let's open this book details component let's say along with these uh, parameters i am also passing query parameters how can i access the uh, this query parameters in book details component okay let's see paste it here then remove this email and user that we don't need just we will display just name only let's create a variable here public name string and save the changes now uh, we can also display this name value in html template and save the changes go back to the browser click this book details app link uh, we are not passing any query string in the url that is why we are not having the name value here let's pass the name value in the url then press enter see here we are having name value let's update the name value in the url let's say one two three here we are having updated value in the html template and the console window also okay in same component we are getting the value from the parameters and also getting the value from the query string if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos thanks for watching this